In this example, we begin with 44 grams of ethylene glycol, our solute, 800 milliliters of water, our solvent. We're given the density of our water to be 1 gram per milliliter, and our constants for boiling and for freezing are 0 0.5 and 1.8. So our goal is to find the final freezing and boiling point of the solution. So in our initial condition, we have 800 milliliters of our solvent, our water, and the boiling point of water is 100 Celsius and 0 Celsius. Now we want to find what the final freezing and boiling point of our solution is after we mix our solute into the mixture. So we expect our boiling point to rise and our freezing point to depress or decrease. Because when you add solutes to pure substances, that decreases vapor pressure. And if you want to learn more about vapor pressure and how it affects boiling points and freezing points, check out the video below. Now, let's get back to our problem. So, uh, before we can apply our two formulas for freezing and boiling points, or the change in temperature for freezing and boiling points, we have to find the molality. Because look, we have the I for both cases, it's simply one. We have our constants, Kb and K, uh, Kf, they're given here. What we don't have is our molality. So as soon as we find our molality, we can plug that in into our formulas and we get our result. So let's find our molality. In step one, we find the numerator of our molality. In step two, we find the denominator of our molality. So uh, that means first we have to find the moles of our solute. But before we get to the moles of solute, we have to find the molar mass. And you'll see why in a second. So let's find the molar mass of our ethylene glycol, our solute. So basically, we add up the atomic uh, mass of each atom. So since we have two carbon atoms, we multiply 2 times 12 grams per mole for carbon. Since we have two O atoms, we multiply 2 times 16 grams per mole for oxygen. And since we have six H atoms, we, uh, we multiply 6 times 1 gram per mole for H, and we get add these guys up, 62 grams per mole. So that's our molar mass of our solute. Now to find the moles of solute, we take our grams of solute and divide that by molar mass. And we should get 44 grams divided by 62 grams, the grams cancel, moles goes on top, and we get 0.71 moles of our solute. So now we have the top uh, component of our molality. Let's find the bottom. Remember, it's moles of solute divided by kilogram of solvent. To find the kilograms of our solvent, we have to use the density of water, the fact that we have 800 milliliters of H2O, and then we have to divide by 1,000 because we want to go from grams to kilograms. So, our density of water times milliliters of solvent divided by 1,000. Once again, 1,000 uh, we divide by 1,000 because we want, we want to go from grams to kilograms. So, 1 gram uh, over ml, which is our density, times 800 ml over 1,000 gives us the mls cancel. Grams becomes kilogram because we're dividing by 1,000, and that gets us 0.8 kilograms of solvent. So now we have our molality, namely 0.71 moles divided by 0.8 kilograms so a bit less than one. So we go to our final step. In our final step, we simply write the formulas for the change in boiling point and change in freezing point when we add a solute. So let's find the change in boiling point first. Change in boiling point is equal to our constant times molality times I. I is simply the number of particles that our solute dissociates into. And since this doesn't dissociate into anything, we simply put I equals 1. So this equals 0.5, our constant, uh, Celsius times kilogram over mole, multiplied by 0.71 moles over 0.8, our molality. The kilograms cancel, the moles cancel, we're left with 0 .44, uh, 44 degrees Celsius. So our temperature, our boiling point, increases by 0.44 of a Celsius degree. And that basically uh, bumps our boiling point up to 100.44 degrees Celsius. Now, our change in freezing point is equal to our constant Kf 
times molality times what i. Once again, i is 1. Our molality stays the same. Our constant changes. Now we plug in 1.8. We get 1.8 times our molality, and we get approximately 1.6 degrees Celsius. And now we have to take this and subtract it from 0, and we get negative 1.6 degrees Celsius. Now once again, if you want to learn why the boiling point increases and the freezing point decreases, then check out the link below. But otherwise, this is our final result.